everyone, it's Michelle, and welcome back to another episode of Arc Genesis 2 Let's Play series. In this episode, I'm going to be going after supply drops, build my tech replicator, my new tech skiff, and going after some of the other stuff that I can craft that is a little bit higher tier. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get into some supply drops. And someone on the server must have done the asteroid crate quality because I sure as heck haven't done it. If I go into my missions, I still only have one of them complete. So, I'm gonna use the heck out of that to go after some of these supply drops while the loot quality is increased. So, let's see what kind of stuff I get out of these loot crates. And this is just a compilation here of me going through all the drops with you guys, showing you some of my better things that I grabbed. Now, this is not to say that I didn't grab garbage, guys. I grabbed so many drops. I must have grabbed over a hundred drops. And some of the stuff I had was good, and some of it was absolute garbage. But there seems to be a pattern with the color of the drops, too. Like, here I pick up Element that's already pre-made, which is kind of nice, like, especially if I don't have any already. But here I pick up some Riot... Uh, Mastercraft gauntlets, which are really good, uh, but other times, like, I picked up nothing but fertilizer out of the actual drops. A BP for Riot Mastercraft leggings, which is really, really good on the armor. But like I said, um, I must have hit up over a hundred drops and doing different colors, too, just seeing what I get. Here, I get so lucky with this Riot helmet with over 770 armor. Absolutely insane on the armor on that. And a BP for a mass, uh, an Ascendant UD saddle, which I will definitely use. And I picked that up just in time, because look, going through warp, that was perfect timing. And, wow, that is a high, high armor on that Maywing. Over 161 armor on that Maywing saddle. Insane. Picking up some really good stuff. Keep in mind, I do have the buff from the Circuit Race mission. And this is probably one of my best finds. The Asher Delphi saddle with 156 armor on it. Wow. Like, I'm not even level 120. But like I said, some of the drops, like this, these are white drops. I'm noticing that I'm picking up some like reoccurring stuff. A tech railgun with 150 armor. Insane stuff. Insane. And then one of my most favorite finds that I got, which is the Rock Drake saddle, because I am going to be going to Aberration to do the Rockwell boss on Gamma so I can get my extra five levels that I need to use the new tech stuff. This was one of the most epic finds, and that is a tech force field. Those things cost so much to make, so I don't even know if I'll even use it. And then out of one of the red drops, I did pick up a tech surveillance console, which is going to come in handy since I'm going to set that up and start spying on some people around the map. So we'll use this next episode, definitely. So I thought I'd take a break and do a circuit chase mission on Beta because I've been looking for these supply drops for so long and I just want to see if I can actually do this mission. You need to do so many missions anyway in order to do this final boss so I thought I'd break it up a little bit and stop with the supply drops and do this. So let's see if we can actually get this mission done because I again I would love to do the boss on a higher difficulty than Gamma but Man, these enforcers suck so bad. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of using them, but let's see if we can actually get this done. This is like my second or third attempt here, by the way, too, because I haven't really had too much experience with this one. It's not that bad, though. Um, the thing that I'm going to be mostly going after with these missions is just getting enough of them done to get my first strider. And just being able to get some hexagons too because again since i'm on unofficial servers then i can use the hlna with the, the tier more of an obstacle course than a race isn't it but it looks like i'm making good time so i don't even know what kind of quality of the drops you really get out of these anymore because on genesis one the missions 
would give you, depending on what it was, they would give you absolute garbage stuff. And so far, the supply drops have been giving me way better stuff. It's insane. Can't be too much further. Alright, and here comes the harder part. So let's see if we can get this done. Blink. Not much time left. Oh no, I screwed that up. Okay. Um, I still have time. Let's crawl up the wall, see if we can get that done. This is the part I always screw up. The last couple times I tried this, this is the area that I kept messing up on. So let's turn around. Fall down. Blink. Yes. Oi, okay. Alright, there we go. Um, 18 seconds, I got this. No yes! Got it done. Alright. Let's go back to some supply drops, because, uh... Need to get some more of those, uh, down, because I want some more- uh, some really good items there. What did I get? You're near the top of the leaderboard. A mantis saddle. A primitive mantis saddle. Contact with our advanced probes. That is a purple drop, and that is element time. So let's go to... Let's go to the space area and let's get some element as fast as possible because I don't have any element at all. So this will be a great opportunity for me to get set up. I have a storage box on my last hotbar so I can get as much element as possible here. But to be fair though, I have been picking up a lot of tech stuff already out of these drops. And I'm starting to notice a pattern too with the drops and what kind of stuff that you get out of them. Like the... Some of the drops, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of chitin out of, like, some of the different color drops, like chitin pre-made stuff. And then the other ones, I was getting more tech stuff, too. And I really want to open up some of these purple drops just to see if the purple drops give you better stuff because it does correspond with element, which is more of, like, the end game kind of stuff, right? But either way, let's go get some element first, and if I have time, I'll come back and I'll open up some of these purple drops, too. And there we go, there is the element that I've been waiting for. It's going to give me mostly element shards, but I will take it. It doesn't matter because it's all element. Oh, goodness. Yes. I'm going to black bag myself on this stuff. I'm staying here until I cannot harvest anymore. A lot of element shards. I'm... Can I punch these still? Because didn't they take that out? I'm going to test it and see if I can punch them. I just want to see how much element shards I'm getting with the mining drill. Alright, let's drop this stone. Let's see what- Okay, there we go. I already have a lot. Like, I already have a lot in my inventory. This is insane. Is punching still work? Yeah! Oh, that's so good! Thank goodness they put that back in. Alright, so I'm punching that. Five element. I'm actually- Getting more element that's made already and less element shards. I don't really care because it's mostly element that I'm after. The shards are cool and everything. I can always convert those, but it's really this, just the pre-made element. So, you know what? Because I already have some tech stuff made up, I really don't need as much element as what I think. So, what I'll do is... Wow, 32 element. So, what I'll do is I'll... 61... I'm gonna keep farming, I'll keep punching for a while, and I still want to go back out, collect some more stuff up, and then I'll show you what I get at the very end. But this is insane, I love it. I absolutely love how you can get elements so, so easily now. So just a few hours into farming, I already have all this element. Um, I don't think I'm actually gonna stay here until I black bag myself, because 300 slots is kind of hard for me to get this done, and I am just punching every single rock. The amount of element shards I have is insane, and I already have enough element to craft all of the element stuff that I want, all of the tech stuff. But what I will do is get my element up to 2,000, and then I'm going to head back because this is more than I will ever need. So let's just keep punching these, and hopefully I won't have to come back for an element run ever again. Alright, so I I have in my inventory an absolute ton of element. I have over... I have 2,051 element just from punching that those nodes. And then all of the element shards. It's absolutely insane. This is, this is crazy. So I think I'm pretty much done with my harvesting for 
the element. I want to check out the actual purple drops too and see what kind of quality of items I get from those and see if it scales to the color of the drop because I'm not entirely sure if it does. Like if you pick up items from those drops if it's better. So let's take this element shard back to base and I'll show you how much we get. All right, I am back at base and let's see how much element we really have here. So I put down this vault here on the left and this is all of my element. Yeah, over over 10 was that 10,000 element shards it said. Holy crap. Just an absolute ton. That is going to last me such a while. And then on the right, I am building up my drops right here. And let's go check out a couple of these purple drops just to see what else is out here. And I'll show you what I get at the end of all of this. Holy crap. A, a tech generator. Um, and a lot of poop. Yoink. Holy crap. And here in this purple one, I actually get an egg incubator and an ascendant minigun. That is awesome. Really amazing stuff. That egg incubator will be put to very good use. Alright, let's take a look at all the stuff that we got, because... I have this thing up to 299, which is insane. I did put cementing paste in here, but that was because I was going around and collecting up some resources along the way, too. But this is everything that I have. For some reason, that Astrodelphus saddle went from 156 armor down to 38.5. Like, this is not a different saddle. I'm not sure why it did that, but these are all the things I picked up from the drop. Some of them are really good, and then a lot of it is... Well, some of it's good and some of it's garbage. Put it to you like that. I picked up two chem benches. For some reason, I am just, like, I, I don't know. I'm like a beam for chem benches. I still haven't gotten the industrial forge out of drops. A lot of chitin stuff. A lot of chitin stuff. I got a cruise missile. That's pretty cool. Some things like a Deinonica saddle that I won't be using just because I'm not going to be going to Valgaro to get one. But I got some BPs out of it, which were good. I did actually get 15 element, which that's kind of cool too, and some element shards, but not enough to really substantiate, like, actually using the drops for element. But I got an egg incubator. I don't have to craft one, which is amazing. But I need to set up a nursery as well, too. So I have an idea for what I want to do with the nursery, and I might stream that with you folks later on. But... I got some good stuff, some really good stuff. Like, I'm really excited about that ghillie armor there, but a lot of just, you know, a lot of it just, like, some like some of the stuff I'll never use. Like, a Capro saddle, hide stuff. Like, what is this? Um, but as I keep going down, I did pick up a really good long neck, and it's just really unfortunate that I won't use a long neck anymore once I go and do the Rockwell on Aberration on Gamma to get my extra five levels so I could use the tech bow. It kind of sucks, but I got some really, really good stuff out of this. A lot of Metal Cliff platforms that I'll probably just place in demo to get the hard poly back. And the Mastercraft minigun that I got. I also got a, an Ascendant one too, but look at this mining drill BP. Holy crap. I got a Ramshackle one that I was using up for a little bit to help me mine. Um, I don't think I'm going to afford crafting this. Look at all the polymer. <laughs> that you need to craft it like holy heck but some of the stuff that i did find like down here like the riot stuff holy crap and even the the ascendant riot shield like i will be using all of this stuff especially when i go to ab to do the boss but the best thing that i was so lucky to pick up that was such a coincidence was the ascendant rock drake saddle yes so that's going to be used this weekend when I go do that. An owl saddle that I can put on my owls because I don't have the ingram for... Well, I do have the ingram, but I, that's just a better saddle. And then getting down to the tech, I did find a tech bow. A Mastercraft bow with 240 damage. That is insane. I didn't pick up any of the tech phase pistols, but I still have my other one from before. And some of the Ascendant tech claws that I was getting, 
insane on the on the damage, but I'm not a fan of using it. But look at this, guys. A tech force field, a tech generator, a transmitter, a surveillance camera, a tech sleeping pod, and then that OP railgun with 153 damage with a tech trough. Um, but like I said, I got some really good stuff and some really bad stuff. So this is all I got. Now, here's what we need to do next. Because we have all of this stuff, we need to go out... We need to wait for some other drops to fall. Like, we need to wait for an orange drop because I need black pearls to craft up the tech replicator. And I also need to get hard poly. So I'm going to have to do an obsidian run. And I'm going to show you how I get my cementing paste. Once I have all of that, we're going to craft up our hard poly. We're going to place our tech replicator. And bam, we are going to be set. Because once I have my tech replicator, I can make my skiff. And I can make just all the other tech stuff that I need. It's amazing, though, what I picked up from the drops. And I will say that I noticed that the purple drops were yielding more of the tech items than anything else. Absolutely insane. I got the Mastercraft bow from a purple drop. I got the some of the tech claws, one of the tech claws from a purple drop. Um, and then I think I got, what was it, the sleeping pod from a purple drop, too. So that is insane. So let's go get ourselves cra uh, getting the harvesting on the obsidian and getting some cementing paste and black pearls. And then we can go get our tech replicator placed down. The only material that I'm lacking right now to get my tech stuff up and going is black pearls. And thank goodness, look at what we got here. That's an orange drop. So that means that I'm going to get some black pearl up in the space rotation. So let's get over there as quickly as possible. I'll just use the mining drill to harvest it because I don't have a strider done at the... I don't have a strider tamed at the moment. I don't have enough missions done. So I'm going to have to plow through some missions as well too eventually and get as many of those as knocked out as I possibly can. I only have two missions complete at this point and they're both the circuit chase mission. The circuit race mission. And there we go. Let's get ourselves some black pearl on the go. So, I am getting mutagel too at the moment, which I'll keep a nice stockpile of this. To be fair, it's probably just better if I just walk up and press E on it to collect it. Because really, the mining drill is not going to make that much of a difference. Uh, actually, hmm. That kind of does. It kind of does. So I will stay- Black Pearls are heavy as crap, by the way. Like, that's already 120 and my weight's gonna get full before I can even have a good stockpile of it. But I'll do the whole punch trick, just like I did with the element. And I'll try to get at least a thousand Black Pearls, at least. I'll stay here until, like, I get bored with it. But the whole point of these space rotations is that I can get down here and harvest as much as possible. And I'll do it all day. Like, I'll stay down here in the space rotations like I did with the element. And be there for the most part of the day. And just collect up the resources. And never have to worry about collecting it again. Until a long while from now. Because at the moment this is just used for my initial tech items. And keep in mind I've already grabbed a ton of pre-made stuff from the drops. Like I grabbed the tech generator. The tech console already. And some other tech items that I probably won't even use. But... Just collect up as many of these black pearls as we can possibly get, and I'll add them to my pile of the element. Alright, there we go, guys. That's over a thousand black pearls, and that's gonna do me just fine, because not every single bit of tech stuff does take black pearls, if that makes sense. Not everything does. So, I got 85 mutagel out of that, and that's kind of insane to think about, because isn't it something like 800 mutagel? is one no, no no 800 mutagel is like six mutagen something like that and i picked up some raw metal just because i need to have that the last thing that i'm gonna need to get myself in the tech like gear like the the actual tech are uh the tech replicator and all that stuff is to go get obsidian and i'll show you my little favorite farming spot that i like to go get obsidian so that i can make hard poly um, I don't really want to use organic poly. I know I can get it and I can get plenty of organic, but 
I just want to have the the hard poly because it takes up less space inside of like the the materials because it can stack to a hundred. Let me get this back to base, and then I will go out to get my obsidian. When I do my actual obsidian runs, I like to go on the other side of the map, and I'll show you where I am in a second. But these flat plateaus, like what I'm looking at straight ahead of me, right below me, and over there to my left, the things that are raised, these have lots of obsidian nodes on them. And here's my GPS coordinates, 58.9, 35.4. And this is where I'm located. I'll show you a couple of places where I like to farm up some obsidian. The problem is, is that with all the tech stuff and with anything as you get higher level, you need an absolute ton of obsidian, an absolute load of it. So I like to do one huge run, just like with every other kind of material that I harvest. I do one gigantic run. And here is the second spot. Again, it's right next to where I just was. 59.6379. Tons of obsidian. Absolute loads of it. And there's crystal here too, so that's really good. I'll just grab this. May as well. Actually, a really good spot for obsidian because if there's crystal right next to it, you can just do both in one go. The next thing we need to go for is the cementing paste from beaver dams is what I like to use. And then starting here at the twin waterfalls, this is where I am on the map. I like to start here and I'll follow the right hand side of the river going up first and beavers will make their little dams in these rivers and along the banks too if there are some nearby. And it's pretty quick, like I could even run on the water if I wanted to. And that'll make it that much faster, I'll get like more of a low profile view. But I like to be up higher and scope them out, like right here. This is an excellent spot. And there's two in the same place. And I'm already stacking my cementing paste, which is good, because all this cementing paste I'll need it with the obsidian to make that polymer. I hear him coming. Yep. But make sure you are owing it. Oh, there's another one. Um, make sure you are owing out the wood because then it'll then it'll spawn new ones. The beavers will make new ones. Alright, so I'm going to collect up all this cement cementing paste and I'll show you the route as I turn. But basically, I'm just going to follow this as it loops around. Like, if you look at the map, I'm going to follow it. I'll go the way I'm pointing now. And then eventually, as the river turns, it'll bring me back out the same way I came on the Twin Waterfalls. And generally I get about 3,000 cementing paste if I'm lucky. So we'll see how much we get towards the end of this. There's another one too. Alright, and I'm at the end of my little route there. And let's see. I didn't quite get 3,000, 6, 12, 18. I got quite a bit. I got more on the 2,000 side, but that's, that's still good. It's still a good amount of cementing paste. So this is what I'm going to do next. We're going to go back to base and... We are going to craft up just enough hard poly in the fabricator and grab all of our mater materials, grab all of the metal, grab everything we need, element, all that good stuff, and we're going to make it to a mission terminal to craft our tech replicator and place that in the base because I have been so longing for this moment. I'm going to make all of the tech stuff with you guys too. So let's get back to base and we'll get all this stuff together and get over to a terminal. All right, I went ahead and demoed the fabricator, the smithy, and then that storage box that was over there. And it's now time to go ahead and get ourselves the tech replicator going. I have all of this stuff in my inventory, and I have to slow walk it. I was using the whip to help get all the stuff into my inventory. And let's get over to one of the mission consoles, and we can craft it there. This is going to be absolutely insane because once I have the tech replicator down, I'll be able to I'll be able to craft all the other tech stuff that I've been wanting so bad. Oh, that's an alpha raptor. Screw that. So we gotta <laughs> we gotta go to the other terminal. Because I am not messing around with no alpha raptor. 
There should be one. I think there's one that's close by over here. It, the, yeah, right there. Galmimus. Yeah, this is safe. Hopefully. Land here, and then let's put all the stuff into the terminal. Go into tech. Uh, oh, structures, crafting, and there we go, tech replicator. And I have a hundred ingot left over, which is perfect. Did my math right. And tech replicator time. So let's go slap this bad boy down. And I am so looking forward to actually having tech now in the base. This is going to be such a game-changing moment for me. Back at base. I am redesigning this wall too, by the way, because it's kind of annoying to have to go through the glass the glass doors like that. I was playing around on my own and putting some greenhouse walls here, and I thought to myself, I don't really need this faux wall then. I could just put the glass walls like that. So I'll change that out too, but tech replicator time. I'm not going to use a ladder to help me place this because I'm pretty confident that I can place this down and have it look good. So let's make sure that it's not clipping. I can see where it's actually going through the wall there. Like that. So let's back up just a little bit. A little bit back. Place that down and I'm gonna quickly, quickly run out back. Does it look good? Yes. Okay, good. Excellent. Not clipping through. Close that up. And bam, I got my tech replicator. This is such a game-changing moment. So now I can just take all the stuff out of that, uh, out of the storage box there and place that inside. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that now. The first item on our list for us to craft is going to be the tech skiff. So let's go ahead, turn this on, type in skiff. And what do I need? I'm missing something. Electronic and oil. Okay, let's go grab this real quick. I should have that in some of my boxes. Oil right here. Just grab all of that. And I think, I'm pretty sure I have some from the tech dinos. Yeah, there it is, okay. So let's pick this up, drop it into the tech replicator, and let's see, let's get ourselves a skiff. I've not played around with these too much. There we go. Nice. And where is it? Uh oh. Uh. I don't know if I'm about to delete the ceiling. I think I could fit it through that dino gate, but. Get out there. <laughs> uh, we'll get it out. I'm pretty sure it will fit through that gate. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves up a industrial cooker. What do I need for that? I need metal ingot. So I do have plenty of that and I need polymer. So let's just queue up as much polymer as we can because I have plenty of cementing paste. And the metal ingot should be in my industrial forge. Well, while that's crafting up, let's go get our metal. I'm pretty sure I left some metal cooking in here. Let's see. Let's go into the inventory. Yeah, I've got plenty of metal in there. All right. Now, if I owe out this, where does it go? Oh, okay. It goes in the front. That's perfect. So I'm just going to owe out everything. I have a whip on me, so this will make it incredibly easy for me to pick up everything. Let's pull out our whip and whip that. And that is all of the metal. Just double checking to make sure that I didn't leave any behind. There we go. Let's bring this back into the tech replicator. And we'll dump that in to get our industrial cooker on the go. Alright, hard poly is crafting. Let's get the indie cooker going. And I'm gonna need some pipes. Because I would like to set this up so I can start making like focal chili, Lazarus chowder, mine wipe tonics, all that good stuff craft up a few of these pipes. I am going to lay out my pipes on my own because I have to work it out exactly where I'm going to connect it to the water source. A grinder. Oh, I, I can't make it. I need cementing paste. I ran out. Crap. Well, I can get some later on and I'll place down the grinder on my own time. But the biggest and best thing is the tech dedicated storage and I can craft 44? That's it? Huh. I thought I did the math. I thought I could do more than that. I thought I was able to craft like 50-some. Well, let's just queue it up and 
Maybe I need more crystal. I think that's what I need. So let's find where our crystal's at. There it is. Let's grab a couple stacks of crystal and just see what that does. If I'm able to build more. Yeah, I can. Okay. So I can craft up seven more. That's, that's good. That is a good dent right there. I would like to have about 50 uh, dedicated storage inside the base. But let's grab the cooker. Let's grab all of that stuff. Let's grab our pipes that we have just crafted. And I'm going to start by putting that down in the corner. And I did update the glass walls, by the way. I think it looks really, it looks so much better. And my skip, I was able to pull it out. And there she is. That is awesome. But first thing I want to do, though, is I did grab a couple of the Deddy storage. I want to put those immediately by the industrial cooker because I want to be able to offload raw metal and then offload the cooked metal ingot right next to the forge. It will make it that much easier for me to just be able to transfer all. So there's two. That's perfect. And that looks good. I can reach both of them. I can access both and the forge at the same time. That works out really well. All right, so now our industrial cooker. Um, before we do, though, we got to get the tech jenny because we are going to put the tech generator up there on the ceiling. Um, I'm going to have it so that we can place it up there and it's not going to be in the way and I can destroy the old electric generator. So what I'm going to do is start with a wall on the floor like this. I don't have to put the sides, but I'm just making sure that it's going to snap correctly, and it will. So I can pick those up if I want. Um, I'll leave them there for right now because it's just going to make it a little bit easier for me to see visually. You just put walls all the way up to the ceiling like this. One more. Bam. Okay. And now I need my ceiling, and I can place that right there. I need to go ahead and pick these up or demolish them. I think I waited too long, so I just I'm gonna have to demolish some of them. Pick these up. It gets a little bit finicky. There we go. Oh no, I missed that one. I'm not gonna be able to Yeah, okay, got it. So that's up there now. That is suspended and it's attached to the ceiling. I can demolish these other ones. I really didn't need those. Dedicated storage is being crafted still, that's good. And I need to get up in here to make this a little bit easier. I can snap the walls like this, but I want them to match because I am picky. So snap that the correct way and snap that one the correct way. Good stuff. I've got a catwalk that I'll put right here so that I can get up to the generator. I'll put a double door and then I need to put a... I'll put the generator in there first. That'll be fine. And it should fit just nice and easy, like so. I don't want it to stick out. And again, this is something I picked up from the drop, so that's nice. There we go. Place that down. Just hop off and make sure that I can't see it. Oh, that is excellent. So, the generator is going to be up there. The reason why I like to do that, it's something that we've always done every time we've built a base. Because, number one, I don't want to see the particles. I don't want to see the particles from the generator. Plus, it's out of the way, and I don't see it. Let's go ahead and pick up some element, and we will put the element inside the generator, and then I can delete that old, crappy electric one. So let's get up here. Fly up. I mean, it looks a little ugly, but you're not really going to be looking up at the ceiling, so it doesn't really matter. Turn that on, and we'll put that on the highest range, and bam, there is our Tech Jenny set up, ready to go, powering all of our stuff. The next thing I need to do is just dump all this stuff in here for right now. I'm going to delete this vault because it's in the way of where I want my cooker to go. And I need an intersection. So let me just dump the rest of this stuff in here. I'm trying to be organized. There we go. Let's put that on our hotbar. I'm going to need the indie cooker on my hotbar too. And we need to start off with this intersection. Just wait for that rubble to disappear. And you go as close as you can towards the wall with the intersection is what I noticed the best way to place it. 
So, back it up just a little bit. Place that. See how the cooker looks? Eh, it looks okay. It's sticking out just a little bit, but that's fine. It's going to be a cramped space anyway. I'll leave that vault there. And now we just got to connect up the pipes. And I'm going to do that on my own time just to save you that extra bit. And to show you, I got the pipes connected. Oh, it looks awkward. It has to go up and over the mountain to the lake above. But it is working and it's set up. And I'm fine with that. But let's go into our tech replicator. And I do have all of my tech dedicated storage crafted up. And I will say this, guys. I am going to be placing down the tech dedicated storage on my own time. I'm going to delete those storage boxes that are in that hallway towards the back here. And I'll just delete everything and move it into this, the storage on my own time just to save you folks that extra bit. But it'll be so much more organized and I can't wait to have my base looking that much better. So we did a lot today. Built a skiff. We built the industrial cooker. Couldn't build the grinder, but that's okay. We had a lot of supply drops, a lot of good stuff out of it. So that's a lot of progress done. The skiff is the game-changing moment, though. On the next episode, I will be going to Aberration to do Rockwell with the guys. Until then, I will see you on the next episode when we defeat Rockwell on Aberration on Gamma. See ya.